Hi, John from FlyAtMikeAlpha.com here. Today we're going to look at how to get VFR flight following on the ground at a Class Delta airport. So before you even depart the Class Delta airport, you'll already be in the system, you'll have a squat code assigned to you, and they'll give you a departure frequency. So all you have to do after you take off is flip over that departure frequency, and then you'll be talking to an approach controller, departure controller, and they'll be able to provide you with VFR flight following without you having to deal with trying to copy down a squat code and give your destination and all those sorts of things while you're in the air. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Ann Arbor Tower, right turn northbound approved, runway 24 cleared for takeoff. Rare contact, squawk 0104. All right, now that we are sitting here, we're uh, at the Northwest T. Holding short of Charlie, did not move an area. Right We're going to go ahead and get our ATIS. Visual approach for runway 24 in use. Notice to airmen, use caution. Bird steer coyote in the vicinity. Advise on initial contact, you have Sierra. We have information, Sierra. Can I have report information, Sierra 2253 Zulu. Wind 260 at Visibility 10. Sky clear. Temperature 26. 2.14, altimeter 3001. Visual approach for runway 24 in use. Notice to airmen, use caution. Bird steer coyote in the vicinity. Advise on initial contact, you have Sierra. All right, so our wind is 2609. Uh, 10 stash miles visibility. Wind 260 uh, no ceiling, uh, at least below 12,000. Uh, altimeter setting 3001, and runway 24 is what we'll expect to use. Visual approach for runway 24 and you. We go over to the so clearance there. delivery frequency of 121.6. And what we're going to do today is actually pass to depart from Ann Arbor and travel south to Wood County Airport on the bottom end of this chart. We can't. And we will uh, get VFR flight following from Detroit Approach Control and actually be underneath Detroit's Class Bravo airspace. We'll go ahead and ask for uh, flight following while we're on the ground here so we don't have to do it while we're in the air. And our ground, Skyhawk 1538 Yankee, Northwest Tees with Sierra. Uh, VFR southbound to Wood County Airport requests uh, VFR flight following. Southbound Yankee, Ann Arbor, ground runway 24, taxi via Charlie Alpha. What altitude are you going to go at? Taxi runway 24 via Charlie Alpha and uh, 3,500 on the altitude, 38 Yankee. And Southbound Yankee, what's the destination uh, airport you're going to? Uh, destination is Wood County, one Golf Zero. All right, and that little double click there just means she heard us. Our taxi clearance is taxi runway 24 via Charlie, link up with Alpha here, and taxi right there to Alpha 1, we'll do a run up, then we'll depart runway 24. Circle 3, Yankee, you can uh, taxi runway 24 via Charlie Alpha, I'll give you a squat code in a minute. 24 via Charlie Alpha, and uh, I'll stand by for the squat code, 3, Yankee. To the intersection of uh, Charlie and Alpha, we'll look, check, make sure that we're clear, right? No one else is taxiing. Uh, squawk 5205. Squawk 5205, 38 Yankee. So we have our squawk code of 5205. We can see this directional sign here that tells us we're now on taxiway Alpha. Alright, so our run up is now complete. We're going to go ahead and uh, expect to talk to Detroit on 118.9 or 5. We'll have that dialed in there. So it's all set up, ready to go. We'll be asking uh, for clearance to take off from Ann Arbor Tower on 120.3. Go ahead and move this over. We have our uh, checklist ready to go there. Pulled up to the hold short line here. We're holding short of runway 24 at Alpha 1. And uh, we have our aircraft turned so we can see the other aircraft coming in on final. We've done our uh, engine run up. We're going to go ahead and do our before takeoff checklist. Our windows and doors are closed and latched. Our fuel selector valve is set to both. Engine instruments still look good. We have good oil pressure, good oil temperature. Probe and landing lights are on. And runway heading. We'll check that once we're out there on the runway. We go ahead and uh, call for a departure.
departure now. In Arbor Tower, Skyhawk 1538 Yankee, ready for departure, VFR southbound. So South Street, Yankee and Arbor Tower, left turn southbound approved, runway 24, clear for takeoff, wind 2607, gust 16. Clear for takeoff, runway 24, left turn southbound approved, Skyhawk 153, Yankee. So South Mike Papa, one departure prior to your ever arrival, runway 24, clear for the option. One departure, uh, this will be full stop, Mike Papa. So South Mike Papa, Roger, runway 24, clear to land. Clear to land, Mike Papa. We'll slowly advance our throttle, everything looks good. Our DG checks, advance full throttle. And wait till we see rotation speed. We have no wind, so we won't have any uh, arrow on wind direction. And VX, and then lower the nose as we clear our obstacles to VY. Our left turn southbound, releasing a little bit of right rudder pressure. Still using right rudder, but just a little less now that we're in a left turn. So, so three eight Yankee, contact Detroit, 118.9 or 5, good day. Detroit on 1895, 3 eight Yankee, have a good one. We got a frequency change over to Detroit, and we'll go ahead and give them a call now. Roll out on our southbound heading. Listen to the frequency for a moment, nobody's talking, so we're not going to cut anyone off. Sierra Wings 313, proceed direct ants, climb 18, 13,000. Detroit approach, Skyhawk 153 at Yankee, leaving 1,700 for 3,500. Or 153 at Yankee, Detroit departure, uh, ident please. So he asked us to ident, we'll press our ident button. We'll pop up on his radar screen so he sees where we're at. Number 3 Yankee, radar contact, one half mile south, southwest of the Ann Arbor Airport. Maintain VFR, Metro Terminal 3002. What's your request at altitude tonight? 3002, uh, maintain VFR and request altitude tonight will be 3500. 3 Yankee. 3 Yankee, Roger. Uh, you are cleared to enter Bravo airspace. Proceed on course, maintain VFR 3500. Maintain VFR 3500, cleared into Detroit class Bravo airspace. 153 at Yankee. Spare wings 313, contact So make sure we always read back a clear to class Bravo airspace clearance. So now we're talking to Detroit Departure, or Detroit Approach, really the same person. We just call them different things. If we're leaving, we call them Departure. If we were coming in, we call them Approach. And we've got VFR flight falling down to our destination of one Golf Zero. We are going to get radar traffic advisories. Um, workload permitting, so not guaranteed. They're going to tell you about every single aircraft out there, but they'll tell you about the ones that they can depending upon their workload. And just because it's quiet doesn't mean they're not busy. They may be working two stations and may be very busy at another station. So we've got that clearance into the Class Bravo at 3,500. Uh, if we weren't cleared into the Class Bravo, we'd want to stay below that shelf. Uh, you know, at 3,000 feet, preferably, we don't want to go 3,400 and just be barely underneath it. So uh, we're cruising down to one Golf Zero. We got VFR flight following. Hopefully this all made sense to you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Remember, fly every day. If not, then fly eatmikealpha.com. See y'all later. Detroit on 1895. Great, thank you. Have a good one.